Hi everyone, it's Maggie and I want to share uh, another design team project for craft supplies for you and this is uh, another fabric pocket page and um, oh, I had so much fun doing this one because of the image um, I just wanted to kind of go over the top and you know kind of this is more like kind of a fantasy image and I know it came out dark I printed on silk and the picture itself was dark anyway but it did come out a little darker than I thought it would when I transferred it onto the silk but anyways up close you can see um, it's a beautiful lady sitting on a wishing well and she's in the middle of a garden so it's kind of like what I wanted to um, portray on the cover but anyways, let me um, just undo this first. And I used a, um, a vintage linen napkin for this. And I put some uh, batting in the middle of it for some, you know, from, for some stability. And let me open it up so then you can, you can see better what I did. Um, I just used this beautiful um, embroidered uh, tool that I got, oh, it's been a few years now, from um, Diana, who's Spare Marbles. And um, she sent me some of these beautiful pieces. And I just, I, I have to start using things that I've been hoarding because they're just too beautiful to sit in the cabinet. So anyways, I put that over the, um, the covers. And um, I did keep the back simple but um, I started at the bottom and added, let's see, um, that's on the other page, so, but it somehow got a little stuck, so I'm going to have a hard time, um, okay, so anyway, I started off with two rows of this trim here and this is one of the new trims that I just showed you a few days ago in my um, haul video and it's a cocky color and I just love it but I put I put two rows and I staggered the rows going up um, for the to show the layers off better so I put two rows of those down and then I put this trim down also and this is another one of those new trims and uh, hopefully Julie still has some left. And that's all I did to the back besides um, putting this little fringe around the border just to kind of um, finish it off. And let me get back to this. So then after I put these trims on uh, and I had put the image down, I just started layering and I added this piece here, which is also one of the new trims. In fact, I think this is on, um, when you look at the video, this is the first thing that shows, um, you know, the picture of your, when your video goes up. I think it's this trim here that I'm actually showing. And then the bridal trim, though, underneath this one, that's brand new too. Uh, I sh that was in the haul video also. And then um, after I got the trims on, I just started layering to go around the image. I added two rows of this fringe. Uh, it's not really fringe. Um, I don't, they're dangles that I cut in order to use uh, at, in a straight line. And uh, I made these, these two larger flowers here. This is from a trim in the store. And I just cut out two flowers for each one and staggered them. And then this is another flower on another trim. Um, I don't think I... Let me just look quick and see if that's the trim. Yes, okay. This trim here, this one here on the inside page, I cut this flower out. I fussy cut it and I put it on top of the other two flowers. And then I added one of these, you know, small flowers, the daisy flowers, I call them. This is one of those Y trims. It's in cream, and it's in this, 
um, beige color. And then I just added one of my rhinestone buttons from my stash. Okay, and then the other thing I did was, here's the cream color little flowers from that wide trim. And these two are the beige ones. And then I just, I took these and cut these individually and put them in the middle of each flower here, here, and here. And um, this is a, this pearl is trim here. It's, um, it's a floral, um, like a little bouquet or whatever you call it. And you take them out individually. And I put one here and one here. And then what I did was I covered up um, all the metal of the stem. I didn't want that showing. So I took the, these flowers here and I did lift the idea from Dawn Boysenault. Um, she cut these individual little um, petals and she turned them into leaves on some of her work. And so I did the same thing. Only to, I mean, it doesn't look like I, I can't even try to do what she does. It was amazing what she did to make her trees and that. But I just wanted to cover up the metal. So I just put them, I just scattered them kind of. And they really don't look like leaves like hers does. But um, I just wanted to cover the metal. So anyways, thank you, Dawn, for that idea. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I added three of these flowers from the store. And I, oh, and I added three, um, these are flowers from another trim in the store. And I just fussy cut the little flowers out and I added the little, these here in the middle of those two, just to, just to kind of keep it, um, symmetrical, if that's the right word for it. And then I added some seam binding for closure. And then on the inside, I used that same, um, embroidered trim for the uh, background. This is a wide lace from the store, um, but I'm not sure if Julie has any more of this, but I use this for the pockets because it was the right size for the pockets on each page. And then um, I layered on the bottom. I started with that one I showed you, that the flower that I fussy cut out. And then this is a brand new trim here. And this is a brand new trim here. And then I cut more of those flowers out and added them um, just to keep that theme going. I went overboard with the flowers because of the fantasy theme and the fact that she was in a garden. I just I just kind of did go overboard. Um, on the top and the sides I used this trim here. I just cut out the top of it and I went all around. And then this is another trim from the store and I just cut these out individually and went around and then I added all the cream daisies with the um it's a it's kind of between a, a pink and a rose color in the middle I just wanted to keep it all you know the same and then the same down here on top of this trim here I just used the beige ones so that's really all I did um, it looks a lot more involved than it really is probably because of all the flowers but I do love how it turned out and it will be ready you know as either a gift or a rack uh, for someone in the future so that's it uh, that's my project if you'd like leave me a comment let me know what you think and as usual I will put the uh, links to the stores in the description box so thanks for watching everyone and I will be back again soon with another project share. Bye for now.